Well, hello, seniors, and welcome back to uh, the Central Buck Senior Task Force meeting. And today we've got a uh, great interview for you to learn a little bit about the transportation system in Central Bucks. But uh, just want to make a reminder uh, for everybody that's out there, we meet here most first Mondays of the month at 1 p.m. at the Central Bucks Senior Center, which is at 700 North Shady Retreat Road, right off of the bypass and Broad Street here in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. But you can also find us every day at 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. on local cable access, which would be channel 22 on Comcast and channel 31 on Verizon Fios. So thanks again and welcome. And let me introduce Mr. Leroy Fetterman. Nice to meet you. And All right. I'm going to call you Doc, if I may. You can, only after the 19th of May. But uh, so, uh, Roy, we'll call you Roy. That's fine. That works for me. All right. So, Roy, if I look at your business card, it says Outreach Coordinator. That's correct. You're very coordinated. Yes. And uh, Bucks County Transport, Inc. Incorporated. Uh, and Quakertown Terminal. So let's just, for the viewers out there, give us a broad overview of what Bucks County Transport does. All right. Uh, Bucks County Transport is a paratransit corporation. Para meaning? Para meaning combined. Okay. And uh, of a shared ride concept. Okay. Uh, it's not a government agency, despite the term Bucks County. Mm. It is not a government agency. It's a private, not-for-profit corporation that has been in existence in this county for 33 years. Mm. Our original founder, uh, who is still our executive director, started the company with two station wagons and two part-time drivers. Uh, going through its infancy um, to adolescence, he struggled, he got it through, uh, to adulthood where we now have 150 vehicles. One, five, oh, 150, 150 vehicles. vehicles. Wow. We travel roughly 500,000 miles a year okay and uh, mm. do four four hundred uh, four million miles roughly four million uh, four miles. million miles rarely leaving Bucks County Wow uh, Bucks County is a very large county yes and uh, we incorporate however as part of our territory Montgomery Lehigh Northampton and uh, Philadelphia counties. Uh, we are allowed, through the Public Utility Commission license, we are a public utility. We are allowed to serve adjacent counties okay. to Bucks County. Um, to ride Bucks County transport, you must be a resident of Bucks County. Okay. Um, the, uh, the, the term resident um, it implies you, you live within Bucks County, but we can take you outside of Bucks County and go outside to bring you back. Uh. But the, the, your original <clears throat> ride must be from Bucks County, and you must be a Bucks County resident. And so must these rides only be to the adjacent counties? That's correct. Okay. We, we cannot uh, go beyond the adjacent county okay. that touches Bucks. Okay. And there are four counties that encompass that. Right. Philadelphia, and I'll use the cities, Allentown, um, Bethlehem, Easton, mm. uh, King of Prussia. Mm. Uh, those distances are within our transportation area. Right. So a lot of medical facilities like university hospitals and other yes. settings like that are in Philadelphia or maybe even Allentown, Lehigh Valley. Uh, the whole Lehigh Valley complex. Right. Einstein Temple, mm. the Pennsylvania Group. Jefferson. Uh, Jefferson. University uh, of Pennsylvania. University. They're all within our mm. our travel range. So that's and, an that's I mean that's a very important thing for our viewers to know is that they can get to not only local high quality uh, health care but you know, really kind of metro, urban, uh, university setting healthcare. Yes, the, the major, what's considered the major hospitals right. in this area, but uh, the Lehigh Valley grouping and the Philadelphia 
That's big name hospitals. That's really important. It is, and and we have many seniors that use it. Uh, obviously, we wouldn't be taking five hundred thousand a year if they were all just staying local. Now, are these the same five hundred thousand, or do people repeat? <laughs> uh, they're repeats. There are a lot of repeats. There are, however, <laughs> five hundred thousand seniors within Bucks County, mm. and. It would behoove every one of them to be registered with Bucks County Transport. So that's a question then. Let's look at that. How would a senior register? It's a simple one-page form uh, that entails about five questions, your name, address, uh, your date of birth, only the last four digits of your Social Security number, and whether you need any special assistance or not. Okay, so would that be for a wheelchair or for a, a walker? A wheelchair, a walker, a, a, a footstool to get in and out okay. of the vehicle. Does that include... Whatever special assistance. So, question, does that include the ability uh, for somebody to go and help them from their home to the transportation? The An escort can travel with our passenger. Okay. Uh, the escort travels free. It must be on a prescription from a medical professional that this person requires an escort when they travel. Okay. So further, though, can the driver assist? The driver always will assist. If the person needs assistance in carrying or uh, moving the, the, if it's a manual wheelchair, okay. the, the driver will take the wheelchair from the doorway to the bus, okay. raise it on the lift of the bus, and, mm. and uh, strap it down inside properly, okay. and uh, be on his way, and then unload the wheelchair and take him to the lobby of the hospital or wow. wherever the volunteer would be to take it. Okay. Um, so that's quite, and, and is there typically more than one person in a, in a vehicle at any given time? I mean, besides the driver? Yeah. Any more passengers than just the um, one? Yes, typically there are. Uh, it's what's considered a, a shared ride program. Mm -hmm. The shared ride is a, a combination, the best parts of taxi and bus service. Okay. It's a taxi and that'll, <clears throat> excuse me, it'll pick you up at your door. Right. And take you to your destination. It's a bus that en route it may veer off and pick up other people at their door okay. and take them to their destination. <clears throat> Understood. You are sharing the ride with whatever rides that driver is assigned. So there may be times when you uh, want to take a ride through Bucks County Transport, they pick you up, they may pick somebody else up, Yes. and, and they may drop that person off before you get to your destination. That can very well and does frequently happen. And so you have to build in a little extra time maybe for that? The, the computer program that PennDOT has prescribed to us mm -hmm. uh, builds in the time so you're going to get to your destination on time. Ah. So it figures out the stops in between. It computes the mileage and the time to travel from point A to point B or point A to D with a pull-off in B and C. Interesting. It computes the time and mileage and uh, will schedule the driver accordingly on his tablet that he has right. in, the, in the bus or the van if the so uh, designed. Okay. And uh, there are times that... Uh, because of traffic or some other delaying problem, mm. uh, we can be, they, they build in a 15 minute increment before or after your designated pickup and drop off. Okay. Just for and those that 15 minutes is we're on time if we pick you up 14 minutes earlier than they said we would. Okay. And drop you off 12 minutes after they said you would get there. Okay. You'll still be on time for your appointment, if that is what you're going to. Right. Or you might be five minutes late for your shopping trip, mm. which is not an appointed thing. Right. Um, the medical and uh, dialysis 
people are very, very punctual yes. in their in their time to re arrive. Okay. And that is the first criteria of the program. So if there's a like a medical issue where they have to be on a, a certain schedule of yes. arrival, they'll really try to focus on that. First. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Our, our goal is to get you safely and on time. And can safely they, being the priority. Of course, safety first. Yes. So can um, can people take Bucks County Transport for something other than, I mean, you talked about shopping, but can they take it for purely social purposes? Um, yes, they can. Um, I, I say yes, they can, depending on the category of the rider. Okay. Uh, if the, the, the rider happens to be on medical assistance and they're traveling under that category, they must be going to a medical uh, establishment. Yes. It can be a pharmacy, a, right. an eye doctor. A, a so Medicaid, doctor. basically. Medical is a right. term. Okay, medical. And, uh, they could not go to a social affair unless it happened to be in the hospital and there was okay. something going on there. And if they want to, if somebody is on medical assistance, but they still wanted to do something that was more socially oriented or shopping oriented, they could still sign up for a ride, but simply say, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, going to go to something else and pay accordingly or is there they, how do they do that they would pay accordingly but accordingly would be going from nothing which is what a medical trip takes yes to as much as 42 dollars mm. if they're going 15 miles or more okay so because under mm. the PennDOT program mm. uh, it's prorated based on mileage okay and if somebody is not on medical assistance and they are wanting, to, I'll give you a good example, Roy. If, if somebody wants to play bridge with a bunch of friends and the only way they can get to that other person's house is by having somebody transport them there, would they use Bucks County Transport for that or could they? Uh, they, they could. Uh, they would pay the, uh, the fare then in the case of a senior yes. that they, they would normally pay. Uh, a dollar is that? A, a dollar is not the normal senior pay. That's oh. an area agency on aging supplement. Ah. You see, the the general public rides are start at twenty dollars and go up to forty two. Mm. One way. PennDOT subsidizes that ride by eighty five percent. The lottery subsidizes it another percentage. And if the individual's income is such that the area agency on aging accepts them as a client, they subsidize it down to where it costs a dollar. Mm. Okay. Now, that dollar is for necessary things that would not apply mm. to a, a bridge party. Okay. They would then go to the regular senior fare. Okay. Uh, which, again, depending on time and um, on the mileage, would be anywhere from three dollars to six seventy-five. Mm. So I guess just for people that are viewing this and trying to understand, there's a little bit of complexity, but but you probably have somebody on the other side of the phone that can help explain it all. Yes. When a when a senior calls reservations, and tells the reservationists where they want to go right. and what time they want to be picked up and what time they want to return. The reservationist will check the schedule accordingly on their screen mm. to see, can we pick this person up at 1130 or is our fleet locked in at 11 30 right and they might have to negotiate no we can pick you up at 12 mm. or we can pick you up at 11 mm. but 11 30 we're booked solid understood and uh, on that particular day if you want to go another day we can do 11 30 mm. and the reservationists will negotiate the time for their pickup mm -hmm. building in the 15 minute increment before and after that time right 
and quote them the exact fare mm. for that trip okay. each way. So they will know before they hang up the phone what time they're going to be picked up within 15 minutes right and what it's going to cost them okay and uh the uh, the fare is as i said three dollars to six seven six dollars and 75 cents to go from doylestown to philadelphia and another 675 to come back mm. and not pay a parking fare when you're in philadelphia yeah, it sounds pretty good to me sounds like a pack right doesn't i gotta wait a few years <laughs> <laughs> but so the, but it's really oriented or primarily around uh, trips to the doctor. I mean, that's a lot of what your well, work is. No, shopping. Shopping. Hairdressers. Those are, are requirements. Barber, okay. Uh, the uh, any of the uh, senior centers. A senior center, great. Senior so you can center. come right here you to can the come Central right Bucks here at the senior, senior center. center. That's pretty good. And uh, you're going to pay if you live in Doylestown probably from three dollars or one dollar. Okay. And. Uh, and go back to the, the, the registration part. So there's a simple form. Where would somebody get that form? Okay, that form is available in every senior center. Okay. At the desk. But um, I can't get there yet because i got to get okay. a ride there. Uh, then, <laughs> then you can call Bucks County Transport. Yes. And uh, have them mail one to you. Ah, perfect. And they'll send you the form with the... A, a return envelope okay your own postage mm, you caught me there <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but the postage has just gone down in price yes so it's a better deal for yes. everybody i hope you all know that but, uh, if you bought your stamps three years ago the forever and still stamps. had them they'd be <laughs> much less than they are today yes but, yes but uh the application is is very simple and easily uh, readily obtainable how about online is it available um, you online? You can get it online by going to Bucks County Transport Org. Yes. And, and you'll, you'll get a picture similar to this, uh, which is our, our vehicle. All right, so we'll just hold that up for everybody. And, That's what uh, the web page looks like when you get there. And uh, okay. along there, you can get all the schedules of our buses. You can get the rates. Uh, you can get the, mm -hmm. uh, the cost per trip. And... Uh, and the application form to apply. Okay. And then separately for the Area Agency on Aging part of it, there's a, there's an income requirement. Yes. And that income is not any big secret. Okay. It's $14,500 or less. Okay. And that uh, is a separate... For a single person. That's a separate thing. That's a separate and aside. That's to get the reduction in your fare from... Okay. At what is now three dollars down to one dollar? How about a ride to other public transport? Let's say you wanted to get a ride from your home uh, at a, a local um, community, and you wanted to get a ride down to the um, train station in Doylestown. Is that would that be considered that, okay? That is considered an okay ride. Yes, okay. and. Um, if you uh, happen to live in Doylestown and wanted to go to the train station, there's the DART bu bus. Ah. The DART bus goes up all around Doylestown. It makes 20 stops right. in Doylestown, roughly hourly, between 8.30 and 5.30. Is this connected? Is DART connected to the Bucks County Transport? Uh, DART is a, a program that uh, is connected Bucks County Transport Vehicles and Drivers. Okay. And uh, the Transportation Management Association, TMA, yes. is in coordination with Bucks County Transport okay. on the, the DART bus. And another program is the Rush bus, which is, only runs in uh, really Warminster and Bristol. Okay. The Rush bus <coughs> is designed to pick up people and take them to this train station specifically mm. and from this train station back not to their home yes it, it picks them up at park and rides at businesses that uh, employ a number of people okay and uh, not really conducive to commuter uh, commuter shoppers or that kind of thing it's but dart is uh would you consider dart a program 
of Bucks County Transport, yes. or it's just related to? Yes, I, I would. Okay. Uh, and there again, the, the DART program and the schedule is available on the Bucks County website. Okay, there's a website that for that. looks like that. All right, we'll kind of hold that up for the viewers just in case we want to get a look. All right, very good. And, and you see those buses around town all I the do. time. It says do. Doylestown Dart, very prominently posted on it. Right. <clears throat> so that explain this program and 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 how it differs. You you spoke about all the stops it makes and it's more regular in its in its uh, route. Okay. Think think <clears throat> of Dart as a miniature SEPTA. Mm. It's twenty stops within. Doylestown. It runs from Cross Keys, the CVS and Cross Keys, yes. to Neshaminy Manor ah. and makes eight, 18 stops in between those two. Okay. And it will go to other places on a special request when you get on. Mm. I'd like to go to the <coughs> Font Hill. It okay. will go by Font Hill if mm. you request that when you get on. Okay. As they near that, they will veer off and they drop. They push you off. Yeah. At a slow move. <laughs> yeah. That's the safety first part, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> we safely push you yes. off. Uh, no, it you is stop. also handicap accessible. If you're wheelchair bound, a wheelchair user, Yes. you can still use DART. It so they can a, load a wheelchair on there. And they have a wheelchair lift. That's great. The driver has been trained in, uh, in wheelchair securement and wheelchair loading. Our, our drivers are trained to the equivalent of any commercial driver that has a passenger uh, designation on their commercial driver's license. Okay. They are given two weeks of intensive training in-house. Mm -hmm. And their first week on the job, they're driving as a trainee driver. Yes. And uh, the training is ongoing when it comes to safety. And uh, the driver's backgrounds and, and their, their driver's license are checked 10 years back. Mm. They're, they're given a physical exam equivalent to the Department of Transportation requirement. And uh, their complete police background and child abuse background is all checked mm. prior to employment with the company. Okay. Well, that's pretty impressive. Um, we Again, we specify. Safety is primarily what we're looking for. Yes, get people safely from get point A to point B. Get them safety from point A to point B. So let's touch on something that I'm thinking of, and that is people that may be watching that uh, would like to do a little more work. You know, they, they're capable of working. They want to work. They've driven for years. They're uh, interested in picking up some part-time work. Would Bucks County Transport and or DART um, be an area that would be looking for people? Is this something where you're always looking for new hires? Um, Bucks County Transport uh, does hire and presently needs uh, qualified drivers and uh, bus monitors. Uh, we have certain programs that are fixed programs that uh, we're hiring special needs people. Okay. And uh, those buses require a monitor to sit in the bus and monitor the actions and, and uh, treatment of the, the passengers in that particular run. Okay. They need monitors and we need drivers. Mm. And uh, we do accept and uh, almost require part-time mm -hmm. uh, as a designation. That doesn't mean you're not going to work 40 hours a week. Mm. Uh, because there's always a driver calling out mm -hmm. or always the need to put on another run that uh, was unforeseen and uh, need another driver. So the, the hours of operation uh, with a company is 6 in the morning till 6 at night. Mm. Uh, you can select uh, 4 hours a day that you're available or 3 hours a day, mm. uh, 4 days a week if that's all you're available. How about weekends? Uh, we don't have any weekend service. No week, so no Saturdays, no, no Sundays. Sundays. Okay. That's correct. Okay. Um, if uh, there's a Saturday or a Sunday trip, it's because someone 
has rented a bus. I see. Uh, buses can be rented for weddings. Uh, oh. To go from the church yes. to the reception. I'd love to go in a dark bus to my yeah. wedding reception. I'm sure you would. Yes. Yes. Talk to me about special needs. When you talk about special needs, can you quantify that? Give us a little more detail what you mean by that. Is that for children or adults or both? Uh, children or adults. The BARC program is an example of okay. uh, someone who hires special needs. Okay. Uh, we have uh, handicapped that could be considered special needs. Uh, their handicap is uh, a physical handicap, and okay. we take some of them to work at various places. Okay. And, uh, How about issues we, of uh, people with dementia? Any issues there? Is that ever uh, an issue? We, we do take uh, dementia people to uh, adult daycare centers, okay. uh, such as LifeQuest, uh, Rock Hill Community. Mm. And uh, we pick them up in the morning at their residence. We take them to, uh, and they're never alone. They're okay. always there's a monitor with somebody okay. there's a monitor and uh, when they arrive at their destination they stay in the vehicle until a representative of that daycare center comes out and gets them excellent okay well, that sounds really and, uh, really fantastic yes it's a great plan it, it uh, has helps many mm -hmm. and uh, and we as drivers and I speak as we as drivers I've done it for 14 years we do the job because we like helping people. Mm. Um, it, it's just such a grateful feeling to a driver to get this person that has a walker or needs a wheelchair or has dementia to get them where they want to go and would have no other way to get there. I, I can't express, it almost brings tears to my eyes, sure. how great I feel yeah. that I've helped that person do something that they would not otherwise been able to do except for Bucks County Transport. This county, with the exception of the lower end, has no public transportation. Mm. And Bucks County Transport is, is here to help. And that's what we can do just so well, mm. given the opportunity. Oh, I agree. I agree. That sounds really yeah. phenomenal. Wonderful. It is. It's a great feeling. Well, you know, you, you've given us a lot of background on Bucks County Transport and how somebody can sign up so they can go on. Let's just review that. They can go online. They can go online. To uh, buckscountytransport.org. Dot org, because you are a nonprofit. That's correct. It's an organization. Okay, so, so you can go online. Uh, if you have a friend or you're able to get to the senior center near to you, you can pick up an application there. That's correct. Uh, you can also call Bucks County Transport. Call Bucks County Transport. Let's talk about what phone number somebody would call. What would that number be? That number would be 215. 215. 794. 794. 5554. 5554. Sounds pretty easy. 215 794 5554. That's correct. Okay. That would be in the old days of Buckingham Exchange. It would be. Seven, nine, old four. days. <laughs> it's like Pennsylvania 65,000. <laughs> Those are the old days. Yes. Okay. Uh, Pid carrier pigeons. It's, uh, our headquarters days. is in Holly Kong. Oh, in Holly Kong. Yes. I know. Uh, Holly Buckingham Kong. Green. Oh, yes. And, uh, I know that really well. Yes. Okay, excellent. And where and, and that's where the vehicles are stored or that they're all we have, over? We have three terminals. We have a terminal in Quakertown, which houses uh, roughly 35 vehicles. Mm -hmm. We have a terminal in Holly Kong, which is our corporate headquarters, and they probably have 50 vehicles. And in Lower Bucks County in Bristol, we have a terminal that in addition to housing vehicles, it also has a garage where we do some of our own maintenance, mm. uh, the, the light maintenance, the brakes and the shocks and that things, the heavy maintenance we take to the manufacturer's representative, okay. which is primarily Ford's in our case. All right. And then you also spoke of today DART, which is like Doylestown Area Rapid Transit. That's correct. Or something similar to that. So, And DART 
is more of a route based system has about 20 stops but you can yes. make some exceptions to it and when you get on board I request they will veer off to certain locations for you and we didn't really talk about the cost I don't remember but I think that's more like a dollar for seniors a, a dollar if you're 65 or over it's free Wow so that's that's you, a deal for everybody that right you can't beat you that. can't beat that well you can because you You've got the money. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I don't seniors, work for a living. But the seniors, seniors that, that really don't have a lot of money, it's a great deal. Yes. They can use that to go shopping. They can use that to, to any of that the shopping That can be the bridge centers. party, that, right? Well, no, it doesn't stop at residence. Okay. If the bridge party center is Square, in the shopping center. Wesley Enhanced. Well, yes, Wesley. Uh, it stops at Grundy. Wesley. It stops at Grundy. It stops at okay. Center. So there are a few residential settings that stop. Yes, at. group residential. Group. That's fine. Group residential. That's okay. Yes. My mother lived at uh, Center Square for a number of years, so I, I found right. that to be great. Yes. And she got on the Dart. Yeah, yeah. Dart is a very popular, very popular use for for Grundy. It, uh, they, they'll fill up the bus very rapidly when it pulls into Grundy. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, I think our time is almost up, but I wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much, Roy, for being here today. We've learned a lot, and I'd like to remind all of our listeners and viewers that, again, uh, 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. on uh, Comcast Channel 22 and on Verizon Fios 31. And please join us here most first Mondays at the Central Buck Senior Center, 700 North Shady Retreat Road. Uh, we do take off the months of June, July, and August, uh, but our program is on every day, uh, every day of the year, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks so much. Have a great day.